Hi, my name's Vince Sheehan and today I'd like to talk about The Mad Death, um, which is um, a BBC TV miniseries um, made in 1981 but broadcast in 1983, um, written by Nigel Slater based on his novel and uh, directed by Robert Young. Now, The Mad Death is... Um, Quite an obscure BBC drama, really. I only heard about it recently um, because somebody I knew knows that I like the film Threads, which is from a similar period. Um, and um, they recommended this drama, so I bought it. And um, it's definitely well worth a watch. It's in three 45 minute episodes, and um, it really, the the plot focuses around the terror of a rabies outbreak. Um, now, I don't know whether this is particularly pertinent to Britain, but um, the UK has always prided itself on um, being very strict in its uh, approach to rabies and, uh, you know, not letting animals in from abroad, etc., and keeping them in quarantine. And so I don't know whether this series seems to feel you know, feed off that cons that kind of concern in the the british psyche but it certainly works it's certainly got its very scary moments in it um and you know at the beginning of every episode we have this rather chilling title sequence where we hear all things bright and beautiful in a rather dark version of that that famous hymn so that kind of sets the the, the tone straight away and in the first episode, which I think is actually the best episode of the three, um, we're introduced to this lady who's living abroad, a rich lady, and um, she wants to take her cat with her when she travels to uh, the UK. Um, her cat is infected with rabies. She gets to the UK and uh, her cat goes missing. It's... Um, killed by a fox and this fox has now got this deadly disease and we're introduced to this American uh, I think he's a diplomat something along those lines he's kind of quite a powerful person but a womanizer and he's having an affair with this lady and this fox he takes into his home and it, it kind of infects him and he in turn infects his um, lover and uh, in this first episode, we see this terrible deterioration of his health. I think it's the most um, gripping part of this drama, really. This uh, strong, confident, middle-aged man suddenly in the grip of this terrible uh, virus. And uh, he loses his... Uh, he loses his mind, really, you know, as the title suggests. Um... He crashes his car, he's admitted into hospital, and the doctor suddenly realised there's something serious going on. It looks like rabies. And this poor man has these terrible hallucinations, really quite scary actually, the way they're filmed. And, you know, bravo to the people who made this to make it so effective. It's here that the two main characters come more into focus. That of um, Dr Hilliard, who's this... Uh, um, this real alpha male kind of character who specialises in animal diseases and um, and Dr Maitland who is uh, is a very clever intelligent doctor and um, who seems to be in this relationship with this uh, rather rich aristocrat who uh, is rather suspicious and uh, perhaps controlling over her Anyway, they're tasked with um, sorting out this uh, potential epidemic. And then the, the first episode finishes, this poor guy dies. Siegler, his name is. The second episode really focuses on their efforts to round up these animals. And uh, any dogs, etc. in the area who might be uh, exposed to this terrible disease. 
And it's here possibly that the, the mini series becomes a bit more cliched. Um, Hilliard, the doctor, uh, the guy in charge of this, uh, of combating this epidemic kind of butts up against this other alpha male who is th this uh, lord who is uh, going out with um, the, do the doctor. She's like, there's this kind of this love triangle thing materialising. And there's a lot of kind of posturing from these men and uh, she adopts a rather meek character in the middle, which perhaps doesn't sit very well by in today's uh, standards. Um, and there's this scene where um, a dog, an infected dog, goes into a, sh uh, a shopping mall. And it's rather entertaining, uh, but kind of rather cheesy as well. <laughs> Quite funny in perhaps not the way it's supposed to be. Um, and it's here we also uh, are introduced to this kind of batty old lady. I think her name's Miss Stonecroft, Mrs. Stonecroft, who is this... Uh, you know, the archetypal, mad, uh, eccentric uh, old woman who keeps a million cats in the house. Well, she does keep a million cats and dogs. And they're escaping and they're possibly infected. At least one of them's rabid. So um, they have to impound these animals. Um, but then, it, you know, at the end of the second episode... Um, she lets them out. She kind of breaks in and uh, lets them out. The final episode really is this this huge blood, this dog bloodbath with these the doctor and his uh, crew going around shooting these dogs. These dogs. In the meantime, uh, Doctor Maitland has been held prisoner in Mrs. Stonecroft's cellar, and here things are getting a little bit far fetched um, and a bit, you know, a bit more kind of. Uh, cliched again but nevertheless it's entertaining and um, the crisis is averted near the end uh, and incidentally it's during this time I think the second episode actually that um, Ziegler he was the guy who died in the first episode his lover dies as well of rabies and you see her quite unforgettably frothing at the mouth but everything ends well in the end um, so yeah, The Mad Death, I mean, it's, it's definitely well worth a watch. Uh, it's very entertaining and uh, the first episode in particular I think is really good. I think that's definitely the strongest part of this series. Um, but it's definitely entertaining all the way through, even if the quality, the artistic quality is uneven. Uh, thank you for watching. I've just included a brief slideshow of um, some of the themes and the structure of this story. Thanks for watching. Bye.